Hi everyone and welcome to another of my settlement tours. This time we will have a look at the home plate, which is a settlement that I think is quite underrated because there are lots of limitations here. You can have all the objects here, you can have settlers, you can produce anything. So even though you can uh, make up for this with mods and turn it into a proper settlement, there are still some limitations and people usually overlook this place because they can have better player homes at some another mod or anything so it's not so popular but I try to make up for this and make it into a really nice settlement or player home more likely it's uh, in, a, in a way I try to make it a home for my character and for a small Sean, since Sean so it's like a, like a home base where, it, where those two can chill out and live in a civilizations, have a proper home, which I think is a thing that really fits into the tone of the game. So let's look at this place. We are at the entrance here and on this side we have a small kitchen here. It's nothing uh, really fancy but it has uh, everything needed. I think some storage and food and everything I really like the light here I use the floor lamp but I put it into the wall so it looks like it's a, it's a normal uh, lamp uh, roof lamp oh sorry for the back, bad textures as always there are some some really low res textures here I can't do anything with it. A place to eat, and we have Sean here. I try to work with both of his uh, traits that he's a small kid, but he also likes to tinker with stuff. So there are lots of uh, workplace uh, elements here, so he can work on uh, some of his projects when he can, uh, when he has some time. When I'm alone, uh, away or something. So that's what I want to emphasize in this build. Some storage, and we have a Piper here. She's working probably on her new article, and uh, another workplace here. So uh, I wanted to make this place into something that looks natural. It's not overly uh, cluttered. And overly comfortable but I wanted to have lots of things here like it's uh, built on the top of the previous uh, previous building here so it's not uh, it's not turned into a real luxurious and uh, over-the-top place but it's comfortable enough for both characters to live up here and we are entering the living room now Let's look at the bookcase here. I, I really wanted to make it uh, look as uh, non-repeating as possible. I used uh, do-it-yourself for this with some elements from OC Decorator and more. And I really wanted to make this look so as natural as possible, basically. There are some toys shown as I mentioned before I wanted to have so this place have this feel it's like kid lives here and he likes to play with stuff which I think is quite cute so TV here some more details some pictures and we have a window here because I thought that what really is lacking in home plate is that there are no windows here and it really doesn't make sense because why you want to have a place which is all in the dark and you have to use all the precious electricity just to lit it up so I made a window here it's uh, actually it's just a big light put in the wall and in a frame with some curtains over, over it but I think it quite closely resembles a real a real window 
maybe it doesn't make much sense from a point of uh, layout from the outside uh, there wouldn't be a place for a window but I thought it's a good place for here to make it like it's a window here and I it wasn't so easy to make it so I just have one window here but at least to make this uh, living room appear more more normal in just some enclosed dark area so you can see from the behind that it's just the light but from this uh, from this angle I think it's pretty nice there's also some more details small place with board games so you can play here is a small storage room mainly for clothes and some smaller stuff which I think is something that would be pretty needed in a household like this Here we have a bathroom. It's really not uh, not there especially here. It's uh, not luxurious. It's not even a uh, pretty, but that's uh, that's the place where I wanted to make draw that line. So the this uh, apocalyptic post-apocalyptic future isn't so so luxurious as it can sometimes be seen in other uh, molds or builds. I don't have anything against it, but I think we should, for my for my immersion there should be some some things left not so pristine. If it's not, uh, you know, if there is no good reason for it, like institute building or something. So a very basic bathroom we have here. We can go upstairs now, where we have a bedroom for me and Sean. As always, I really uh, focused a lot on the lighting here, which I think can be seen. I have a magazine rack with some stuff that I uh, acclaimed throughout my adventures. It's not full up yet, but just enough of it. So a red bar here, but I think Sean is a good boy enough not to touch anything of this, hopefully. And a bed for my character. I wanted to make this place into like a cozy little area where you can lie on your bed, have a snack, read something and just chill out. When we go upstairs, there's a Sean's room, which where I really emphasized a lot on making it that place for a kid that he would like to be have. So there's lots of clutter, some models, technical stuff, but also some kids' uh, things like comics and even some clutter he can have uh, from wasted wasteland just to make this place look more interesting and also, also this uh, picture of a cat which is a uh, thing I never actually really find found a place to use it because even though it's a cute picture it's not something you would expect anywhere when you thought about it but for a boys room I think it's nice So some more toys in his bed and that's the stuff because you, you can have some toys and also some uh, toolbox which really shows up his character. I think it's, it's a really nice place for him. He probably would like it. And that's all from this build. I know it's not so much up here but the space is limited and I didn't want to make it just too much. Maybe I'm too minimalistic in it. I like when it's uh, in a reasonable amount of details. So I thank you for watching 
and I hope we will see each other in, in next video. Have a great day and bye.